What's going on guys? Before this video starts, I just wanted to remind you guys that this Saturday, that's this Saturday, February 6th, I'm going to be doing a very special belt review video of the IWGP Heavyweight Version 5 B5 belt that was never released in New Japan Pro Wrestling but was made to be a real belt there. We don't know if it will actually be a belt in the future, but we never know. It was a real belt. And my friends on Facebook, Sammy and Jim, they got a an exact copy of the real IWGP Heavyweight Version 5 Championship Belt, and they've been so kind to allow me to review it on this channel. So this Saturday, February 6th, I will be doing a review of that belt, so get excited and enjoy the video. What's going on, Hashtag Burritos Nation? It is a little bit past midnight, so it's trying to keep the volume down. But anyways, today we're going to be opening up four of the six uh, AEW Unrivaled series three, I believe three, um, AEW and Rival figures. I did not get the Young Bucks because I already had the Young Bucks ones from Vegas, but I'm kind of regretting it. So I'll probably try to get them at some point, but they're not selling them on the store at the, at the moment. But we got Pac, we got Darby, we got Riho, um, and Orange Cassidy. So very cool. Of course, Orange Cassidy, I had to wait a little longer because the Orange Cassidy one sold out super fast. I didn't realize that they were selling the figures yet but yeah all right this is gonna be probably a little bit of a shorter video i'm not going to take them out of the box yet but i'll go ahead and probably maybe around next week do a more detailed video on each figure uh, but speaking of big videos make sure this saturday this saturday february 6th you guys have probably already seen my teaser videos earlier in the week but this saturday february 6th iwgp version 5 championship belt review only one on youtube here we go and shout out to sammy and jim for letting me use their uh, footage of their iwgp heavyweight version 5 you ready for that video on february 6 all right anyways we're gonna go and take these figures out here and let's see what do i want to do first let's do let's do riho let's do riho i want to see that belt all right let you guys see it first all right, very cool here. So we got on the back here, it is from the first ever Dynamite in history. I went to the show, I, w I flew out to Washington DC, first time ever, um, AEW Dynamite, October 2nd, 2019. So this is really special to me because it was, I was at this show where Riho became the first ever AEW Women's World Champion by defeating Nala Rose. I was very surprised that she won. I didn't think that they would do a David versus Goliath thing where David won um in the first championship match that was cool this figure is really cool looking a lot of people have complained a lot about the um base can i will agree that it's not the best base can possible i don't think it's bad though i think it's pretty good looking i think that maybe her i, I think it gets her cheekbones pretty well all right anyways i should probably show you guys the figure here it's not going to look the best with the glare but you guys like i said i'll go ahead and show you guys in a better video at some other point uh, there we go it's Riho. she comes with a bunch of different hands she's got ones where it's all five are out she has a fist she has one to grab right now she has one grab one on her right arm and then she has one where she's pointing up in the air of course the aew women's world championship right here which is really really cool i'm digging that i'm always happy to get belts with uh, with the figures so so there's Riho. It's the back of it if i didn't show you yet, i already did she is number 20 interestingly enough of the aew unrivaled series very cool i don't know <laughs> i thought maybe i could use that as a thumbnail all right anyways all right and then uh let's do let's do Pac next Pac or pack whatever your preference is i'm gonna call him Pac. so another show i was at live so basically the stopping of me going to live shows is the pandemic. I did go to All Out this last year, but then after that I was like, you know what? They did a very good job at the venue at Jacksonville and Daly's Place of showing, um, of having a very good social distancing and making people wear masks. But what's not good is the airports, the airplanes. The airplanes are terrible and they force you to sit right next to each other. So that's what has stopped me from going to um, any other shows since then all right anyway so we got Pac here he comes with a cool another head which is really cool 
Um, and where it's like covering up his face, as you can see right there. And then we got Pac right there. Uh, a lot of people say he looks like, what's that actor's name? Um, Jason Momoa or something like that. They said his face down looks like, I think it looks pretty cool. I think it's really cool that he has that second head. I This is my first figure I've ever gotten that's come, in, come with a second head. So that's very cool. And another cool thing, this is the first chair weapon, chair that we've had in AEW Unrivaled. So I'm excited about that to see how that feels. To see, to see if it's any different than any other chairs I've ever felt. All right, and then this is the back. Like I said, I was at this show August 31st, 2019, All Out. This is when he, uh, shockingly enough, defeated Kenny Omega after John Moxley had to pull out of the match and they had to get a quick replacement. And it was a great replacement with Pac, one of the best wrestlers in the world, in my opinion. And uh, Pac went ahead and defeated Kenny Omega. So let's see what number is this one. We got AEW on the side, obviously. This one is number. 19. Cool. So there is Pac, or Pac, however you want to call him. I prefer to call him Pac. I think it sounds more British, but <laughs> I don't know. I, I need to hear him say it himself. But yes, Pac. Very cool. I'm digging that with the chair and the extra head. I can't wait to switch that head on there. But yes, like I said, I will do um, a video of each of these, taking them out as well. All right. Alright, who do I want to do next? Let's do... I want to do orange next. I'm going to do orange next. Orange looks awesome. Alright, I'm very excited about this orange figure. Alright, so here we are in the back right here. Looks like this one's from uh, June 24th, 2020. Okay. So Jacksonville, Florida. So this is a pandemic era. Is this the first pandemic era win we've had? I don't know. I'd have to like look back, but very cool. June 24, 2020, um, AEW Dynamite. I wonder who he was wrestling, assuming he was wrestling. But very cool. We have the shirt. So I have seen in someone else's video, it's not an actual full shirt that goes around him, which I'm not a big fan of, but at least it's easy to take off. And I guess it's uh, connected to the, um, the denim jacket. So I really like that. He's got his pants pants ripped to showing the um the knee pads all right he's got multiple hands here i do like that they got a bunch of different hands he's got hands to put in his pockets like so you can see right here we have one of them is already in his pockets right now but we have another hand to put in his pocket as well um and then a couple of and then oh that is so cool i didn't even notice that he has the little thumb that is so cool the the half butt thumb <laughs> that is so cool uh, and then of course he has another um, hand to like pick stuff up. So really cool. I'm digging it. I, I've always loved that he has that shirt of himself. That's just hilarious. And I love that he comes with the glasses. I think that they did a good face scan from what I've seen in other review videos. I'll go ahead and review that fully in another video. Like I said, here's the back again. Orange Tassie, June 24, 2020. AEW Dynamite in the pandemic era in Jacksonville, Florida. Here we go. He is number 15 in the, oh, sorry, I can't read backwards apparently. He is number 21 in the AEW Unrivaled collection. And that's pretty cool. All right. All right. And then last but definitely not least, my second favorite wrestler in AEW at the moment after Cody, the relentless one, Darby Allen. Uh, by the way, I wanted to uh, point out that I do really like the soft fabric of um, that Darby has. I almost forgot to say that. This looks sick. All right, I'm going to show you guys the front first here. So the front shows, um, this is from Fighter Fest. Oh, that's awesome, dude. So this was Darby's debut. That is so, so cool. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's Darby's debut. So this is when he went up against Cody, and this is... The night that AEW showed that they had faith in him. His first ever match in AEW was at Fighter Fest 2019. And he went a 20 minute draw with a top star, Cody Rhodes. Cody. Oh, that is so cool that this is from Fighter Fest 2019. I can dig that for sure. This is number 22 in the AEW Unrivaled collection. AEW on the side, obviously. I love the packaging. All right, and here we go. Darby Allen. That is so cool. I love the face stand. I love the paint. Oh, man. 
I would love to get one of those um, special ones of his. If I ever get a special one, um, I don't think I'll take that one out of box. If I ever get like a one of 500 or one of 1,000 or something. Very cool. He comes with a skateboard, of course. I'm digging it a lot. And the skateboard is actually pretty um, messed up. Like, like a beat up skateboard. Like someone would have in real life if they're skating on it a bunch and going off their crazy stuff. If you guys haven't, you should check out Darby Allen's Twitter account. The dude is nuts and he does some crazy stuff. I know he has to limit himself now because Tony Khan would be really mad if he hurt himself on a skateboard trick. But yes, I really like the Darby Allen uh, jacket. I have seen before. The, the back of the jacket looks really cool as well. So I'm excited to show you guys that as well. Um, he's got himself some wrist tape here. Very cool. Darby Allen. Alright, that's very cool. And that's so cool. This is from his first match ever in AEW, AEW Fighter Fest 2019 against Cody. That's so cool. Daytona Beach, Florida. Very cool. The C2E2 event, I believe. Uh, video game event. All right, but anyways, just show it one more time again. The back of the Riho one, October 2nd, 2019, which I was at. And then she's with the AEW Women's World Championship, Riho. Number one, very excited that she's coming back to Dynamite this upcoming week. Um, then we've got Pac. He comes with a steel chair as well as another head with the, the hair all in his face and what. There we go. That is from August 31st, 2019 when he defeated Kenny Omega in a shocker. We could, and he just made Kenny pass out and it was an absolute shocker. He wasn't even supposed to be in the mask. He took the place of Moxley because he had the stab infection in his elbow. And then we have Orange Cassidy. Man, he just doesn't care. But he likes to try every once in a while. <laughs> love Orange Cassidy. I love that you can put his hands in his pockets. I love the soft little one, the jacket and shirt. Very cool. All right, and then last but definitely not least, we got ourselves, of course, Darby Allen. Good old Darby Allen from Fighter Fest 2019 against Cody. All right, anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below what you thought, and if you've gotten any recent AEW Unrivaled figures, I will be getting the full set of AEW Unrivaled 4. But anyways, love you guys so much. I'll see all of y'all beer lovers later. We don't want no ham and cheese. We just want burritos, please. Yeah, check out my Hiromu Takahashi, Hiromu Takahashi shirt. I can't talk. February 6th, this Saturday, IWGP Heavyweight Version 5 belt review. Be there.